The town of Sibernik is not as well known as Dubrovnik, Rijeka, or Split. Therefore, it could bring us the pleasure of discovery, making our journey a more pleasant experience. The maintenance of the promenade near the harbor shows us that Sibernik can compete with its neighbors both as a holiday resort and day trip destination. As in almost every settlement of the Croatian coast, tourist sites are centered around the harbor in Sibenik too. The fact that its industrial plants, which had marred the coast, were liquidated after the South Slavic War also contributed to the town's rediscovery. The row of statues depicting 70 human heads commemorates the residents of the city who contributed to the building of the St. James Church. The detailed faces express various feelings, serious and more cheerful, strict, smiling and sad. The group is a bright spot on the wall portraying saints. The building of the town hall belongs to the local government as a fine example of historic continuance. Almost every inch of the pillared balcony building framed by two grand staircases is ornamented. The room of the town guard, as well as the pillory, used to be under the staircases. St. Anna Fortress, built by the Venetians, rises 80 meters above the town. A high wall was erected on the side of the mainland. Towards the sea, however, the view is beautiful of Sebeniki Bay, St. Anthony Channel, and the estuary of the Krika River. The fortress used to function as a line of defense, together with three other castles. From the top, sailors still use flags to give signals to the boats, just as they used to.